All right, third grade. Today we are creating our winter project. We are going to be making a evergreen background today for our cardinal to sit on when we create that next week. You're gonna start with a blue background and a brown rectangle paper. The first thing we're gonna do is rip our brown paper to create some branches across our blue background. So to do this, you can just kind of rip some organic lines. Remember, we have talked a lot about organic shapes and organic lines. Those are basically lines that are not perfect. They are just kind of wavy and remind us of things in nature. So perfect for our evergreen background. So I'm just kind of tearing some wavy lines. And if your paper rips before you're finished tearing, that's totally fine. They do not have to be the same length as the paper. Remember, this is an organic process, not a perfect process. So I'm going to continue tearing some branches, just kind of laying them out as I go. Just strips of paper. Um, and I'm gonna go kind of across my paper both ways so I have an interesting pattern of branches laid out. Your branches can cross over. You can go in front and behind using overlapping. And if um, your branches go over the page like this, that's totally fine because we can trim them off later. All right, so I feel like I've really filled up my space with branches. Now I'm gonna start gluing them down with my liquid glue. And an easy way to create kind of realistic looking branches is to make a Y on the end of your branch. So you can see I've done that with some of my branches. You don't have to do it with all of them, but it just kind of helps make it look more natural instead of just having one piece sticking straight out. I'm gonna flip my paper over and um, since my branches are kind of curling up, this part's really important. Flip it over and really press hard on the back so everything flattens out before we do the next step. All right, so while your paper is flipped over, you can go ahead and trim off those extra branches that are hanging off the sides. So just trim off where you see the blue paper. And then when you flip it back over, you have nice clean edges. So before we add our evergreen needles with our paint, we're gonna add a little bit of texture to these branches to make them look more natural. So you're gonna find a brown oil pastel and you can make little swirly lines and wavy lines to create the tree texture. So now you get to use your paint and instead of a paintbrush, we're going to use some cardboard to stamp the little evergreen pine needles. So you are going to dip the shorter side of your cardboard into your paint. So you've got dark green and light green. You could do kind of some dark green and some light green, or you could do them both together. So I'm going to try that way first. So I've got dark and light green on my cardboard. So I'm gonna first kind of tap a little bit so that I make sure I don't have too much on here. And then I'm going to start stamping diagonal lines. So not straight out from my branch, but a little bit slanted to create my pine needles. And I'm kind of doing like one layer first 
because these are really far apart and you know spread out but i'm gonna go back in and add some more to make it look more full like a real evergreen tree so on every branch i'm adding those diagonal lines and here my branches are overlapping so i'm gonna overlap my pine needles as well And you can see my cardboard kind of runs out of paint every once in a while. So I have to keep going back and adding paint. So like here, it's kind of starting to run out. So I'm gonna go get more paint and start stamping where it left off. And here my evergreen needles are actually overlapping each other. That's because those two branches are really close together. So that would happen in nature. So it should happen on my picture too. Okay, so I have quite a few needles on here, but I still see a lot of spots that could definitely use more pine needles. So now I'm gonna go for my second layer Maybe this time I add more of that lighter green since I did a lot of dark green last time. So now I'm, I'm trying to fill in the spaces that I have not filled in yet. You don't have to do this over your entire picture, but you can definitely find some spots that are a little bit more bare than others. So we want this tree to be nice and full so it would protect our cardinal. Alrighty, so I feel like my pine needles are nice and full. I can still see my branches, but that's good because I want to see where um, all the branches are going. But I feel like I really did a great job filling up my space. So when you feel like you've done a great job filling up your space, you can put away your artwork on the drying rack and clean up your area.